Hi, Father Paul here at the Sunday Mass, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to celebrate and to pray with us. But before we begin our celebration, I just want to touch on a little issue or problem that we've been having. Perhaps in recent weeks and months, as you joined us on YouTube or on our website, uh, you've seen little ads pop up during the Mass. First of all, I want to personally apologize for this disruption and let you know that this is not of our doing. We don't monetize our channel, so we receive nothing for those ads. But it seems YouTube, in their policies, still continue uh, to put ads periodically on the content that we produce. We are working very hard to solve this problem, and hopefully at some point in the near future, at least on our website, you'll be able to watch the Mass ad-free. If you do watch us on the YouTube channel and have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and become part of the Sunday Mass faith community on YouTube. Again, thank you for your time. Let us begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to today's celebration of the Sunday Mass, a ministry of the Passionist community. It is August 7th, the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I would ask you to keep in your prayers today the sponsor of our Mass, Luisa Lopez, and her special intentions, the repose of the souls of Daphne and Diego Lopez. Please keep them in your prayer. Our Celebrant today is Father Enzo, so if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the beginning of Mass, and let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us, do not be afraid. For the times we have allowed fear to control our thoughts and actions, we ask for God's healing and peace. Lord Jesus, your love is eternal. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you hear us when we cry out to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters. 
that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The night of the Passover was known beforehand to our fathers that, with sure knowledge of the oaths in which they put their faith, they might have courage. Your people awaited the salvation of the just and the destruction of their foes. For when you punished our adversaries, in this you glorified us whom you had summoned. For in secret, the holy children of the good were offering sacrifice and putting into effect with one accord the divine institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own, chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own, chosen out your joy to the Lord, O oh, you just, for praise is fitting for the upright. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his heritage. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the seashore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out, an inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will be your heart. 
Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself. Have them recline at table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, life is a journey, and uh, there are times that um, in our journey, probably we might be scared, scared by the unknown or the unpredicted events and circumstances that we did not envision or calculate. Jesus tells us, do not be afraid any longer, little flock. He knows just how paralyzing fear can be. When we act or do not act out of fear, we bow to feelings of insecurity and misperception. These feelings are not of God. Fear is not of God. We know this throughout the scriptures as God continuously repeats to his people, do not be afraid. Taking these words to heart, however, can be challenging as the fears we encounter every day are very real. Jesus is telling us, however, to trust in God during these times of fear. And when you want to free someone, you threaten. Think of why horrors happen. Think of violence, bullying. They're all based on instilling fear in the others because fear freezes or fear makes you make the wrong choices. But where is our treasure? Because depending on where our treasure is, our heart will be. And wherever our heart will be, that will really allow us to overcome fear. And there's one quote in the letter of St. John that says, and that I love very much, when it says, love casts out fear. And if we truly treasure love in our heart, that is the only thing that really can cast out fear. In the parable today addressed to the disciples, the faithful servants are eagerly awaiting their master's return from a wedding banquet, a, favorable, a favorite biblical image of the end of time. The gospel reminds us to be alert at all times so we may recognize the Lord when he comes. He comes in those we meet in the circumstances of our daily lives and the signs of our times. In a very real sense, every hour is an hour of the Lord's coming. Since he rose from the dead and he's ascended to heaven, he is always present in every circumstance and every time. And for those who open the doors of their hearts to Jesus without fear, the parable has a dramatic reversal of roles. The master will be our God in an apron, who serve us always. And let us not forget that the evening of Holy Thursday, in fact, we celebrate Jesus with an apron, washing our feet. It is not just an isolated moment or action. It is his very true nature because he wants to celebrate. And sometimes we always imagine Jesus sitting on the throne with the crown and everyone at his feet. Well, heaven is really the opposite. He crowns us and washes our feet. And this is why we should recognize him in our daily life, especially in the poor, in the vulnerable, the excluded, and wash your feet because those are Jesus' feet. And so let us dress ourselves with an apron without fear and serve one another so that we may always be focused on our true treasure, who is Jesus the Lord. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, come substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Friends in faith, let us trust in the goodness of the Lord as we place our needs before him this day. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who must live amid violence and war, especially the people of the Ukraine. May all hearts be filled with anger, violence, and war become hearts filled with peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sponsor of our Mass today, Luisa Lopez, and for her intentions, the repose of the souls of Daphne Lopez and Diego Lopez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our Sunday Mass faith community that will be placed next to the altar, and for Earl Francis Clifford, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all life, let your blessing be powerfully present in every word we speak and every action we live. Hear and answer our prayers this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we sing.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Without fear and with our hearts filled with the Holy Spirit, let us say together the, the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously, Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Please offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, the, away sins the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Best of those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
everlasting treasure to the frail a guiding hand there is wealth beyond a measure pouring forth the god's command to the outcast and rejected a love that knows no end to the ones who least expect it a savior comes as friend to all who search for peace. Let us pray. May the communion, your sacrament that we have consumed, save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. And thanks to all of you for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. Uh, very special thanks to the sponsor of our Mass today, Luisa Lopez. Uh, and please continue to keep her intentions in your prayers, the repose of the souls of Daphne and Diego Lopez. Also a special thanks to Father Enzo, Nancy, Mika, Preston, Renald, and Wendell for leading us in prayer and celebration today. Have a great week, everyone, and until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Joy.